What's up everyone? It's Lens Addict here and today it is Friday the 24th of June and the M2 MacBook Pro just came out. So I'm going to unbox it and we're going to have a look at it. So let's get started. I'm going to get out of the Apple store. Uh, it's very busy in here today. So here we have the box of the MacBook Pro and it looks box wise from the external from the outside it looks just like the old macbook pro 2021 to be honest in fact nothing on here mentions m2 at all the only telltale signs are the 2022 and the model number being a different model number but when i frankly when i first saw this box i went oh shit is this the same one that I had last year? Have they accidentally given me the wrong one? Anyway, let's unbox it. I suspect it'll be exactly the same as the previous one, but oh well, let's have a look. And then we can do some Geekbench and performance benchmarks. All right, there's the plastic wrapping. And then we have the box itself, so we'll just pull that off. Very hard to remove. And here's the MacBook Pro itself. All right. Looks pretty much the same as the old one. No differences really. Same two USB C ports. Oh well, let's turn it on and have a little look. What a, um, what else we have in the box? Well, let's have a look. So we also have a USB C adapter. Power plug. So we're still setting up the laptop. It's a little bit slow, but I think that's a networking issue and not the processor. It's a shame that it's still a 720p webcam on this device. Seems a bit strange to me to put in such a crap webcam in a device that's pro. Anyway, we'll try it out and we'll see if it's improved as they're saying that the M2 has better, better webcam quality, but it's still 720p. So I guess we'll have to see what it's like. While I wait for this to set up, I would love if you could tell me um, what you wanna know, because I'm gonna do a follow-up video where I compare this MacBook Pro with the M1 MacBook Pro 2020, and we'll do some benchmarks and comparisons with it. So this is definitely the M2 MacBook Pro, as we can see. Let's see if there's any day one updates. Yep, we're up to date. Well, we'll turn on auto updates. And let's also have a look at, um, yeah, it looks like the SSD has been ridden quite a bit. So they must have done a lot of testing in the factory. Um, but unfortunately we can't see the manufacture date and there's no way that this was manufactured in 2012. Maybe this is meant to say 2022 04, 23. That may be more logical, but I think that's an assumption. So I can't be sure. So we'll run, um, let's run Geekbench now. And we'll do Geekbench on here. And we'll see how this Mac performs running Geekbench. Uh, so let's do that now. And we'll just close everything in the background. Well, there's, there's what it says for Geekbench. So let's run the CPU benchmark. See how we go. This thing should be blazing fast. 
So here are the Geekbench results, and this is a comparison between the new MacBook Pro and the 2020 M1 MacBook Pro. And you can see here that it is definitely faster, around 30% faster. It just depends on what area you're looking at, single core versus multi-core. Um, but yeah, feel free to pause if you want to have a look at these results in more depth. And here's multi-core. So once again, it's faster, but you can pause this if you want to have a little bit more of an in-depth look at certain aspects of the Geekbench test. And up next, we'll have Compute. So here we can see the Compute benchmark, and that one is much, much faster. As you can see, it goes from 2,000, 20,000 to 30,000, which is a big difference. And this is both, uh, this is the MacBook Pro 2020 M1 versus the M2 once again. And yeah, feel free to pause if you would like to have a little bit more of an in-depth look at the scores. So here's a little look at what the webcam quality looks like on the M2 13-inch 2022 MacBook Pro. Let me know what you think. I think it does some... Uh, I think it's doing a lot of processing <laughs> on a shitty 720p webcam, but look, it's better than it used to be, but it's still worse than the new ones. And I suspect that new MacBook Air, which is cheaper than this, will be better than this. So, as you can see, the M2 MacBook Pro is a significant improvement in performance over the M1 MacBook Pro, but I wouldn't be upgrading unless you have a lot of money and you just want to upgrade. <laughs> like, it's not a cost-effective upgrade, um, personally. I think unless you have an Intel MacBook Pro, then totally get it. But if you don't have an Intel MacBook Pro, um, no, it's not worth it. I'd actually consider the MacBook Air over the MacBook Pro because the MacBook Air is cheaper, has a better webcam, that kind of stuff. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Lens Addict out.